Hi, this is a short demonstration of how you can use T-Scan, tools for single cell analysis user interface to construct pseudo-time cell ordering and perform other analysis on single cell RNA-seq data. T-Scan is an open source software package available on Bioconductor. To install T-Scan, run the following two commands in R. You can also download the latest version of T-Scan on GitHub. For users who do not have R installed on their computers, simply go to the following website to directly launch the T-Scan user interface. All you need is a web browser and access to internet. However, there is only one concurrent session allowed for the online version, and the computational speed could be significantly lower, especially for large datasets. To invoke T-Scan user interface in R, Simply run the command tscan ui after installing the package. The user interface consists of three parts. The main menu here, the sidebar panel here, where almost all options appear, and the main, ma main panel here, where the results show up. There are three essential steps for you to construct pseudo-time cell ordering. First, upload a single-cell RNA-seq expression file. Second, perform some pre-processing steps on the raw data. And finally, run T-scan algorithm to construct the pseudo-time cell ordering. In this demonstration, I will walk you through these three steps using the example of a subset of single-cell RNA-seq expression profile in mouse LPS stimulation, which involves immune system responses. To prepare the expression file, simply follow the instructions here on the main panel. Please make sure that your data format is correct, otherwise unpredictable errors may occur. Click Choose File button to specify the path of your local expression file. Change these options if your expression file does not include header, has a different separator, or is quoted. Click Reading button to read in the dataset. The header of the input file will show up here. Again, make sure that the dataset is correctly read in, or errors could occur in your analysis procedures. Now let's go to the second step to perform some pre-processing on the raw data. T-Scan performs hierarchical clustering on the genes to deal with potential dropout events. By default, T-Scan will first take log 2 of the raw data after adding a pseudo count of 1, remove genes that are not expressed in all cells, and then use 5% of all remaining genes as a cluster number to perform the clustering. You can change the settings in the sidebar panel here. Normally you will just wait T-Scan to complete the clustering and go to the third step without changing anything. Now let's go to the third step of constructing pseudo-time cell ordering using T-Scan. First, you need to perform the dimension reduction using either PCA or ICA. It is highly recommended that PCA is used for the dimension reduction because ICA runs extremely slow for large datasets. You can let T-Scan choose the optimal number of PCs used for follow-up analysis by clicking this menu button. Briefly, the optimal number is determined by fitting a bunch of piecewise continuous linear regression models and choose the one that fits the best. You can check the standard deviation explained by each PC here. After dimension reduction, you can use T-Scan algorithm to perform the pseudo-time cell ordering. T-Scan uses a cluster-based minimal spanning tree approach to order cells. Cells are first grouped into clusters using model-based clustering, and an MST is constructed to connect cluster centers. The cells are then projected to the backbone to form the ordering. T-Scan provides a variety of options for users to explore and fine-tune the analysis. By default, the number of clusters is set to be 3. You can change the cluster number to any number you want. I'll just use the optimal number decided by BIC. You can go to the pseudo time tab to check the cell ordering results at pseudo time. You can choose to show or hide the cell names as well as the MST. Check this option to manually tune ordering. 
you can either specify your ordering by listing the cluster IDs. I use a macro gene to automatically order the clusters. To visualize macro gene, check this option here and select the macro gene name. For example, step one. The size of the nodes represent the expression values of the gene. Another important feature offered by T-Scan is to conveniently trim cells according to clusters or gene expression levels. There are three options to trim cells. To trim all the cells in the cluster 1, simply put in the cluster ID and click Trim button. <coughs> to trim single cells, put in the cell name and click Trim button. To trim cells according to gene expression values, specify gene name, the value of expression, and the relationship. For example, if you want to trim all cells which has expressions larger than 1 in both genes step 1 and step 2, put in the gene name and change value to 1. Click Add Criteria button. Add another criteria using the same method. You can go to Trim Expression tab to check the trimming results. Click Trim to perform the trimming. Notice that the trimming is in a recursive manner. Click Reset to restore all original cells. T-Scan also provides a bunch of optional functions to save results. Perform differential analysis, visualize single genes, and calculate pseudo-temporal ordering scores for different orderings. These functions are quite easy to use, and I will not go through the details of them. Many new features will be added to T-Scan package in the near future. Thanks for watching.